Hey guys, um, so I really wanted to make a video today about how to set up Lutris. Uh, since I made a video yesterday about setting up uh, Linux or Windows games on Steam using uh, Proton, and I was like, well, I should make a video about Lutris. I've made a video about bottles as well, but that wasn't really a full in-depth video. That was just a quick like install thing with some music in the background. But I was thinking maybe I should do a full tutorial on Lutris. And since Lutris is probably the most easiest, I would say, to set up uh, third-party launches for your game, something like Overwatch or before when I used to have uh, my Battlefield games on the Origin app or now it's the EA desktop app. Um, I used to run it on Lutris or also on bottles, but now I just run it on Steam because I bought it on Steam. But I still have to set up uh, Overwatch 2. So I was thinking maybe I should do a install uh, guide um, for <coughs> Lutris. So let's get into the video. So first of all, you you know you want to go actually like download uh, Lutris. So we can grab it from the discovery page, or it's just called Discover. Or if you're on GNOME, go from the GNOME software store, um, and you just want to search Lutris. And for me, it's right here. Also, in my last video, I forgot to, forgot to talk about Proton Up QT, which is basically just an app that in, that injects uh, different versions of Proton. I linked it to blend, linked it below in the description, but I totally forgot to put it actually in the video because I was talking about uh, Proton GE, uh, but I didn't explain how to actually. Um, install Proton GE or Wine GE into uh, Steam or third-party launches. But besides that, let's go back into here. So we want to go to Lutris. Uh, for me, I'm not using the Flatpak version. I'm just going to use uh, my one that's provided on my distro. And you just want to launch it. Now, when it starts up, you won't get greeted to this just yet. A window will come up and it will say it's like updating runtime stuff. It's searching for runtime updates. And after that is uh, done, then it will actually launch the app. And you'll be brought to here. Um, now, for me, I'm going to be installing Overwatch 2 uh, slash the Blizzard app. So basically, you just want to click on games. You want to go to the plus icon. And this is basically where you'll be grabbing like installers or any of these other things like you want to scan for a folder that has games or you want to install a windows game from media uh, maybe you want to run a local install script or you want to add locally installed games like manually <sighs> excuse me so for us we're going to be searching because we want to find a overwatch 2 uh, script installer uh, to actually put us through the steps of installing the Blizzard app and setting everything up for us because that's one of the good things about Lutris is that Lutris uses scripts for installing third-party launches and it's pretty easy it kind of like holds your hand uh, through the process uh, so we want to search for is Overwatch 2 or you just search Overwatch it'll come up with the same one and here it is so we can click on it now there's two options here um, I don't know why this option is here it's a scripts for uh, exiting installations or battle.net but you don't want to use this one we want to use the just the standard one and we want to click install so now we got like uh, the installation directory you know where you want to put uh, this directory which for me I'll just put it in my home folder in netty slash games you also can create a desktop shortcut if you want I'm not going to do any of that you also can create a steam shortcut so if you want you can kind of um, add it to your Steam library so you don't even have to really um, open the Lutris app. You can just launch it on Steam in your library and then it will uh, launch the Blizzard app through Lutris. So now what you want to do is click install and here is some of the things that it will install first. Um, you want to click continue and it will start downloading these. And now it's creating a 64-bit wine prefix. Basically, what that means is uh, Wine is creating like a fake Windows drive, you could say, where it will install um, the Blizzard app, it will uh, run through with Overwatch 2, and yeah. As we can uh, see here, it's gone through the process. 
and now it actually has um, opened the Blizzard app installer, uh, which is just like on Windows. So we're going to click continue here and it's going to go through a uh, battle.net update agent. Uh, so it's basically just, you know, it's going to update the Blizzard app to the uh, latest version that's available. And I remember a while ago where the Blizzard app would, um, had an issue where how was it? it wouldn't launch um or it would launch but it was there was some issue and it took um like a couple days for the blizzard app to be fixed that's that's one thing i'd be wary about is um when you're running i mean like the blizzard app has been basically running like perfectly for many years now on linux um through wine and i think uh the blizzard developers know that uh uh, especially in the forums, they know that uh, there is Linux users, so they always keep that in mind that to let the Blizzard app run under Wine uh, properly. But the community mostly solves the uh, main issues that the app, if the app updates and something breaks. It's just one of the things I would say with third party apps is sometimes they will break and it will take maybe a day or two um, for things to get fixed. <clears throat> Blizzard's pretty safe. Um, another app that I mentioned in uh, my Steam video yesterday was the EA desktop app at the moment. That's getting a lot of updates and so EA keeps breaking it and Valve has to keep going out and um, fixing the app so then we can play games like Battlefield 5 and 1 and 4 and all other EA games on your Steam library. And uh, yeah, so basically, um, now we're in the login uh, window here. So it does say, uh, and I always forget to do this. Usually I'll log in and I'll be like, oh fuck, what a, why'd I do that? It says here, after the app installs, a login window will open. Do not sign in here. Close the window and allow the installer to finish. You can log in and install the game once the installer script completes. So we're, now we're at the login, so we want to close it. Because um, if we don't do that and we sign in, uh, the Overwatch 2 like shortcut won't get added here so we can launch it. And you'll have to go through the installation process all over again. So basically, now that we've closed it, uh, we want to wait for the install script to return with a uh, exit return code 0, which it just did. And the installation is complete. Wow, you just installed Blizzard through Lutris on Linux. Wow. Um, so... <laughs> Now you can um, either launch or close. I'm just going to go close and we can either click play if you don't don't want to do anything else um, for me. Um, I need to go to configure and this is where you'll actually find kind of like it's kind of like your prefix you could say uh, where you can change things, add different arguments, uh, look at where the wine prefix is, the executable um, and you can go through the runner options now. Uh, this hasn't been updated and it doesn't really need to be updated, but it uses um, Lutris uh, GE Proton 733, which is basically just Wine GE uh, 33. Um, and it, <laughs> you can swap this to, like, example, I could launch it with 34 and it would work the exact same way because nothing's really changed, but um, it just installs 33. Um, and there's some other things that are enabled. You can leave these mostly all alone. Um, for me, uh, I'm going to add a environmental environment variable, uh, which is going to be um, OBS Game Capture. I'm pretty sure, um, which I can't remember the variable for it, but uh, I guess I can do that later. So basically, you can have a look through here. You can enable uh, an FPS counter as well, like Manga HUD. You need to make sure that Manga HUD is installed. Um, and you can install uh, use uh, game mode as well which you want to make sure that that's installed and uh, that's basically it you can click play and it will launch the app now one issue sometimes i have with the blizzard app is when it launches the wine server will crash and the blizzard app will freeze um, and that's just one one thing that happens so i'm gonna sign in and i'll be right back and there you go so now that the app is opened um, for me, I'm going to locate. Okay, Blizzard, you can just <laughs> open that right in front of me. It's pretty cool. Um, how do we fucking? Oh wait, fuck! I accidentally launched the. Um... Yeah, we do this first. All right, so my game is in uh, fucking forward slash. I'm pretty sure it's home. Netty. Uh, 
games, I think. Wait, no. It's in it's in media. Uh, it's in it's in bottles for some reason. I think it's because I made a bottles for Overwatch 2, and I don't really want to move it to my uh, other other S SSD. So find where Overwatch 2 is installed. If it's not installed, then you can just go and click install. Um, for me, there it is. It detects it. Cool. Close. Uh, we go through here, bada bada boom, and it's going to check for some updates. Now, one one issue that um, does happen sometimes on this Blizzard app is um, sometimes when you launch it, it will just keep like refreshing when the game's launched. I don't know why, but sometimes it will just um, say it's updating when you're playing the game, which makes no sense. Um, I think it's just checking for things, but usually that doesn't happen on Windows. There's no real big issue with that. I'm just saying that's just a weird issue that happens. Uh, but that's basically it. You can click play. Um, probably want to close this as well. So don't really need that. And there you go. Now that it's launched, to the server, enjoy the game, and uh, for me, I'm using an AMD card, so my game's going to be a bit stuttery until the shaders are fully compiled. Um, we can go into our practice range. And there you go, and as you can see for me, um, it's actually not that bad right now, and I'm pretty sure it's because I already have my my cache already loaded. Um, my god, I need to turn this down. Why are games so loud lately? I don't get it. It's fucking so loud. Um, and there we go, basically. Uh, for me, I might have to change some things. This thing's fucking bloody got reset. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, I'll probably leave this full screen so we can change the refresh rate. We can change this so there's no fucking uh, dynamic render scale. Um, <clears throat> it will our frame rate, our network latency, and there you go. With you don't know when to quit. Got it running. And that's basically it for installing something like Overwatch 2. And there's plenty of other apps you can install. Um, you know, like example, you can search up the EA desktop app, but pretty sure that should come up with some results, some some old games. Um, if you search up EA desktop, that should come up. There you go, EA app. Um, and this is the open beta version. So this seems to be maybe a bit outdated, this script. And that's one of the things that, um, reason I use bottles, the Lutris, is sometimes the install scripts, since they're made by the community, sometimes they take a while to update. Um, but example, on this side PC, you can actually log in um, to your um, your accounts. As example, Steam, I'm pretty sure it's already got my account. I had a refresh icon, so I'm guessing it's gonna grab my Steam library. Um, but for example, if I wanna use Origin, uh, it's saying that we need the game launcher, so we're gonna grab the latest one here, click install, it's gonna go through the install process of downloading uh, the Pacific Wine version, which is 7.2-2, uh, and uh, I don't know why Lutris is still using Origin, I think they should move to the EA desktop since Origin isn't gonna be supported anymore. Um, in terms of updates and just you know it may get some vulnerabilities stuff like that as we can see here it's uh the origin setup.exe it's grabbing so we click continue now it's gonna fucking download the origin setup just for you it's creating a wine prefix again so basically every every single um launcher you install um, every uh, game that you install on Lutris, um, same with bottles, it's going to make its own prefix. So that means that it's going to be in a separate folder. So if we check where it installs, uh, which is in... Uh, if we check, it's in our home, it's in Netty, and then games. So as you can see here, it's created an origin folder and it's created an Overwatch 2 folder. Um, so every, like I said, every wine prefix that gets made, it's going to make a fake, uh, basically a fake dr uh, C drive. As you can see here, here's our drive C, and we can go in and just look at that. It's literally like the exact same as uh, how Windows folders are created. It's basically just 
creating a fake Windows drive. As you see here, Origin is launching. Um, of course, I'm going to delete this because I don't uh, have any games that I play on Origin and I use usually use EA Desktop. Um, but basically, that's it for Origin. I'm not going to go any further with that because I'm going to uninstall it. Um, and if we just do cancel, remove, and that's basically it for that. You can also do Epic Game Store, GOG, or just Lutris, which is basically, I think, um, the Lutris website, I think. I've never signed into Lutris.net before. I don't think I have an account, but that's one other thing you can do. Um, and then we can run, look at our runners. So we've got Flatpak, Linux, Steam, and Wine. So as you can see here, we do uh, Steam. Lutris did grab my Steam library. So now if we want, we can actually um, install uh, Steam through here and we can launch the game through here if we want to. Uh, I think also I'm going to do a video about uh, bottles and how to create uh, installers on there and what you should use because um, bottles is just another another type of launcher that creates you know wine prefixes, wine prefixes for you and you can just uh, run your games on there. So uh, that's going to be it for this uh, video. Uh, thank you guys for watching uh, and of course you know if I did anything wrong in this video you can comment down below and also if you haven't noticed I'm using my webcam for this video um, just to make it a bit more of a um, human interaction experience because looking at my screen while I talk uh, it's a bit boring, I would say. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to sub, you can. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.